The purpose of this video is to answer a question that comes up in uh, one form or another uh, multiple times throughout the year in Algebra 2 and, and Pre-Calc. And the question is, what is uh, what does sine even do? For instance, when you take the sine of an angle and you put it in your calculator, what is what is happening? Like, what is that actually, how is it coming up with this magical number out the other side? And so let, let's, let's explore this for a little bit here. Um, suppose I gave you a couple triangles, and these are real triangles. Um, the lengths may not be, uh, you know, uh, per, uh, precise, but relatively speaking, they're, they're, they're real, actual triangles. And um, they're right triangles, and so you can see that, you know, this is uh, uh, 30 degrees down here. And I'm assuming at this point you know that, um, for instance, sine, cosine, and tangent... Um, you know that, that, for instance, sine is opposite over hypotenuse and the other ones as well. So in this first small triangle here, if we wanted to find the sine of 30, we would do this. We'd go sine of 30 degrees. That's equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. That's 10 over 20. That simplifies to a half, right? And so, so that, that's, that's neat. Let's try this other bigger triangle here. So once again, we're looking at 30 degrees. We want to find the sine of 30 degrees. So we take sine of 30, and that is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. That's 33 over 66. That also simplifies to a half. Hmm. I seem to see the beginning of a pattern, but maybe you're not convinced yet. So let's take a look at the next slide here. All right, and this is an even bigger triangle, so let's look at this one. We're going to, once again, we're going to take the sine of 30, that's the opposite, over the hypotenuse. All right, and so that's going to be um, 8, 11, divided by 16, 22, and you guessed it, that simplifies to be a half. So what, we can, what we've kind of established here is that the sine of 30, in at least these instances, is 1 over 2, is a half. And it turns out that's true for all right triangles and 30 degrees. So let's think about why that is. Uh, sine is simply a ratio, okay? It's a ratio of the opposite side of a right triangle divided by the hypotenuse, if you're talking about some, uh, in reference to some angle. And so this other angle up here is 60 degrees. So I oh, oh, the whole point here is that if you've got a 90 degree angle and a 30 degree angle, the other angle must be 60. If you remember from geometry, that means that all of these triangles are similar triangles, okay? So that it, all of the sides of the triangles are proportional, okay? So you can take this triangle, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, and the sides are going to change proportionally, uh, or they're going to adjust, adjust proportionally, okay? And so the sine of 30 degrees in this big triangle is going to be the same as the sine of 30 in um, a triangle eight times its size or whatever. And so what the calculator does, so we, so we can establish this, right? What the sine of 30 is, or sine of any angle, or cosine of any angle, or tangent of any, any angle. So what the calculator does is it's just got all of this information put into it. Um, and so when you tap sine of 30 into your calculator, when it's in degree mode, it's going to kick out a half because the sine of 30 is always one half. Um, and like I said, that works for all the other trig ratios as well.